they fought for freedom for themselves and for their brothers in neighboring America. More than 200 years ago, a small group of black soldiers set in motion the political, geographic, and economic future of the United States and Haiti. About 600 black Haitians joined the French and the American in trying to retake Savannah from the British. The Franco-American alliance failed in their efforts, in fact, failed miserably. The British turned back their offensive, and the Haitian regiment were actually the heroes of the day because they covered the retreat of the French and the Americans and avoided total annihilation by historically covering as they retreated from their attempt to retake Savannah. That one courageous decision turned into the world's most successful battles ever to be won by slaves. It was in August 1791 on the Northern Plain of French Saint-Domingue that there broke out a huge slave revolt that took everybody by surprise. Easily the largest slave insurrection in the history of the Americas and one of the largest slave insurrections in the history of the world. A world power is crushed by an army motivated by a force much more powerful than military experience. The ending of slavery, the ending of racial discrimination, gaining of national independence were brought about not simply by some decision of a government body in the faraway metropolitan power, but brought about by a struggle from below. A victory that had major economic and geographic consequences for the United States. When Napoleon saw his dreams for a French empire and the New World collapse, he realized not having Saint-Domingue, it's now Haiti, that Louisiana, that was the supply colony, was no longer needed. So he had to think fast in an expeditionary fashion. He simply chose to sell Louisiana to the United States. The Haiti's freedom is short-lived. Its history, culture, economy, and landscape is erased by political instability, violence, poverty, child trafficking, and deforestation. Once considered the richest colony in the world, Haiti is now the poorest in the Western Hemisphere. So this is the price for freedom.